All right. <laughs> All right, hello, here's the bull. And the goat. All right, we're in Porto Basque. Uh, we just got off the ferry last night. It was running late, so we got in real late and uh, couldn't go anywhere because apparently there's lots of moose. And uh, we didn't want to hit one, so we pitched our tent here in town. Uh, almost woke up in another province. It was pretty windy. So anyways, here we are this morning. Once again, it's misty, and we're down at the local Tim Hortons. Um, yeah, by the way, Porto Basque, that's in uh, Newfoundland. And uh, we're on our way to St. John's, but we're down here in Tim Hortons, and we ran into a couple of uh, fellow adventurers. And um, I took off, uh, pitched, uh, rolled the tent up, came back, and one was uh, engrossed in a, in a conversation here. So, anyways, we're going to introduce you to them, and uh, our hats off to these guys because uh, they're getting out there and they're doing it. Woo! <laughs> All right. So over here we have Steve, and we have How JD. Hello. Yeah, and these guys came over last night on the same ferry, and uh, it's kind of interesting because we got the ferry out of uh, North Sydney, 11.30 in the morning. We got out 40 minutes, and the captain said, right, we've got to go back. Things ain't running right. So we went back, we hung around till 5 in the afternoon, then we came again, which is why everyone got stuck here last night. So you guys, what are you guys up to? We're What's the story? We're doing a trip called uh, Road of Wonders. So we're going to Wonders of Canada. And uh, we started in Toronto, and now we went to Cape Breton Highlands. Now we're in the Rock, Newfoundland, going up to the Viking Settlement. And along the way, it's all about meeting the people and the local wonders. That's part of the journey. That's what we're after. Um, the final wonders are basically just a wrap up. They're not really the focus of the trip. Um, all right. We stopped here, we met you guys. We had a great time discussing our trips, and it sounds like we're following each other. We've done the same route. And we'll probably meet again on this trip, so it's been a blast. Yeah. Good. And I love it. I love the rock. First time you're on a bike. All right. Woo! JD, yeah. how, how long have you been on the road there? We've only been on the road since last Friday, so just over a week now. It's my first adventure motorcycling trip, so I've had a lot of bumps along the road, especially in the first few days. But overall, we're in the groove now. We're making some good times, some good miles, met some fantastic people, we've seen some really beautiful views and uh, just enjoying every minute of it at this point. So all the aches and pains are gone and it's worth every second on the road. Yeah. So you guys gonna, you're going up to Lancer Meadow, are you gonna go across to St. John's as well? Not no. St. John's, we're no? speaking West Coast. West Coast, just eh? Just because of time, again, winter's coming in quick, so yeah. we wanna get up there, hopefully see some whales, see the Viking settlement, yeah. and shoot back to Toronto before the snow comes. Yeah. Good. Oh, wow. Good. So what are you guys riding? I got my V-Strom 650. Beautiful bike. I call it the Blue Avatar. The Blue Avatar. Oh, I like yeah, it. Yeah. Here we go. This is the bike for you. She's yeah. faithful to me. Awesome. She never lets me down. And I ride her good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I noticed she got some uh, some beautiful bags on the same. I mean, you're loaded for bear. You got a fishing rod. You got a tripod. Always you got... bring the fishing rod, tripod, camera gear, clothes, food, tent sleeping bag. My tent's broken. It broke the first day. So uh oh. Been sleeping under the stars a little bit. And the other case, my big knife, oil, a few uh, motorcycle maintenance stuff. Excellent. Yeah. And, and how about you, JD? What do you got going on here? I'm on uh, Suzuki SV650. So the both 650s, huh? Both, yeah, okay. both 650s, both 650s. Not that much power, but uh, especially when you load it down like this. No, you're not loaded down. I mean, geez, you got everything here with the kitchen sink. There's two, there's two of you on that bike, and you guys have less stuff than I do. Well, man, what I tell you. Say? What does that There's say? a big screen TV in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's good when you travel that heavy. Yeah. Yeah, but my first adventure motorcycle trip, the only problem I'd say is uh, my tank's a little too small, so I have to stop with a lot more gas than Steve does. Yeah. I'm kind of slow things down a little bit, but it's okay to get off the bike, stretch the legs, and do a little Tim Hortons action. Tim Hortons, so. yeah. Yeah, they're getting a good plug here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, anyways. Yeah, that's what we were doing too, Jim Yeah. Exactly. All right. Exactly. Well, Wanda, sweetie. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, this is, uh, once again then, here we go, is the bull. And the goat. All right, signing off with Steve and JD Yay. from Tim Hortons in Porto Basque, Newfoundland. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right.